makes differences. God loves you. Hi, good morning, God's beloved. Welcome to Storytime with Community Christian Church. I'm Reverend Suzanne, and we're so glad that you're here. We are on Facebook and on YouTube, and we welcome anyone to join us. We're listening to our frolic faith songs. We are different. It's true. God loves differences, and God loves you. We're so glad everyone is joining us. We're doing a little different this morning. We don't have our Zoom friends this morning, and we're not live. We've had to pre-record um, for some scheduling issues, but we'll be back again live on Thursday, and we'll be glad to welcome you then. And today we'll be um, in the comments there to participate with you in our story time. We'll hope our friends have joined us now. And we're going to, oh, I forgot, we're going to sing our song We've sang this before, and it's a favorite of our girls. It's called Halle, Halle, Hallelujah. So let's sing that together. Simple words, one word. Halle, 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 Hallelujah. Halle, 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 Hallelujah. Halle, Halle, Halle. had musical instruments with them. They busted those out to dance with them. So another great idea if anyone had a musical instrument with them. So we're going to have our breath prayer and we have been talking about our breath and how when we breathe deeply and we notice how our body is moving with our breath and sometimes we're moving our body in different ways like we've done balloon breath prayers and a rainbow prayer. Um, they can help us to calm ourselves just to feel more centered and focused and a breath prayer is just a really great, easy prayer that we can do anytime and anywhere. And so when we take a deep breath, today we're going to, when we breathe in deeply, we're going to think to ourselves, Jesus. And when we let that breath out, you are with me. So breathe in again and think, Jesus. When you let it out, think, you are with me. Jesus, you are with me. We remember that every breath, when we take deep breaths like that, every breath is a gift from God and that God is as close to us as our very breath. So no matter where we are, we can just breathe and remember, you are with me. Great. So today we are also going to read again from this Wonderful Spark House Story Bible Psalm book, um, Prayers and Poems for Kids, and it's from Spark House, um, which is what our Frolic Faith CD or music that we were just listening to, and we've used this quite a bit. And they're poems and songs, and this has in here a message for kids that I thought was really helpful, and so I wanted to read it to you. We have talked some about the Psalms, and um, when we had our other book that we did with Psalms, and so this has a message for kids, so we can think about this. It says, Welcome to the Story, the Spark Story Bible Psalm Book. The prayers in this book can help you find words to talk to God when you're not sure what to say. Sometimes we all have trouble knowing what to say when we want to talk to God says, the poems and prayers in this book were inspired by the book of Psalms in the Bible. You can find the book of Psalms in the Old Testament, about halfway through the Bible. The Psalms are a collection of songs, prayers, and poems to God. 
They express all kinds of human emotions, joy, sadness, anger, fear, thankfulness, and more. For thousands of years, people have sung songs and prayed prayers based on the words of the Psalms. Find a quiet spot in your home or outside. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Page through this book and find a prayer that fits your mood. Read it out loud or quietly in your heart. God hears you no matter what. So today we are going to be reading this from um, a prayer from Psalm 121. It's called Watching Over Me. So here is the picture for that from Psalm 121. Watch over me. Let's see what this says. It says, my eyes look up higher than the mountains and hills asking who will help me? My help comes from you who made everything, the sky and the earth. You won't let me fall. You stay awake at my bedside. And while I sleep, you never close your eyes. You are my great nightlight. I will trust in you. You are my God who watches over me forever. It's from Psalm 121. So now we're going to do some of our mindful mantras that we've been doing. They are positive affirmations that we can say to ourselves every day to help us to have that positive mindset and to quiet those voices inside of us that tell us that we aren't good enough or that um, we're not smart enough or all those things that kind of make us feel bad. These can help us remember how awesome we are and how God created us to be so awesome. And so we have been doing them. You can shout them out to yourself. You can whisper them to yourself. You could write them down on a piece of paper to put in your room somewhere or in a book you're reading. Or you can just think them too. So you can do them all. Do the one that fits with you, whichever one you need that day. So let's do these. All right. So repeat after me. I believe in me. I believe in me. Okay, I am smart. I am smart. I am a good friend. I am a good friend. I am thankful. Let's say, I am thankful. It's good to have a thankful heart and to remember the things that we're thankful for. And here's one that I have really been loving and we have used it the last few times in story time. My light shines bright. Let's say that. My light shines bright. So we remember that Jesus is the light of the world and that each one of us has the light of Jesus inside of us. Jesus gave us that light. So anytime that we share kindness or we share love, we are shining that light into the world and our world needs a lot of light. And so we can say, my light shines bright in this world. All right. We can remember too this one. I am loved. I am loved. And then this is my favorite. God loves me no matter what. God loves me no matter what. Great job, everyone. Those can really help us to feel better about ourselves and to stay on focused and do all the wonderful, amazing things that you can do in this world. So today we are going to read from this Growing in God's Love Story Bible. And I don't know if any of you knew, but on Sunday morning, there we were supposed to have Sunday school on Zoom, and Zoom was having a problem all over the world. So people who were trying to have Sunday school or trying to talk with their friends or trying to have worship were having trouble getting on. And so we didn't get to have Sunday school on Sunday. And I really missed being with all of my friends in my Sunday school class and seeing all of our other friends who log on at the beginning, and then we all split into um, our Sunday school groups. So I was sad about that, and um, so I'm going to go ahead and read our story that we are going to read on Sunday, and it was about Paul, and Paul is from Acts 9. Um, Paul starts off as Saul, and he's changed, and so this is called Saul's Change of Heart, and we're reading this from the Growing in God's Love Story Bible, um, and this is from Acts 9. So here are the pictures that go with our story today, and they show all the different pieces of the story about Paul. When someone says something unexpected, we are surprised. Can you show me your surprised face? 
great job. Sometimes we're surprised by the way people act. Listen for surprises about Saul and Ananias. Now that's a new name. Let's say that together. Ananias. Ananias. Saul didn't like the believers in Jesus. He asked the high priest for a letter so that he could hunt down these believers and bring them back to Jerusalem to be arrested. He knew many had gone to Damascus. That is where Saul and the men with him were going. But God had a surprise for Saul on the road to Damascus. When the travelers were coming close to Damascus, a bright light from the sky circled Saul. It was so bright that Saul fell down. Saul, why are you being so mean to me? Asked a voice from above. Who are you? Saul asked. I'm Jesus. When you are mean to the people who believe in me, you're being mean to me too. Go to Damascus. I'll tell you what to do when you get there. The men with Saul saw the bright light and heard the voice. They helped Saul stand up. When Saul opened his eyes, he couldn't see. The people with Saul had to lead him to Damascus. At the same time, Jesus talked to a man named Ananias. Let's say Ananias, who believed in Jesus and lived in Damascus. Saul is in town. I told him that a man named Ananias would help him. This scared Ananias. I know about Saul, he said. He wants to arrest me and anyone who believes in Jesus. He's dangerous. But Jesus said, it will be fine. I have chosen Saul to do important work for me. He will not be mean to you. Ananias went to the house where, Paul, where Saul was staying. He touched Saul's eyes and said, Brother Saul, Jesus sent me to make you see again. You are now filled with the Holy Spirit. Flakes like fish scales fell from Saul's eyes. He could see. Then Ananias baptized Saul. From that day on, Saul stopped being mean to people who believed in Jesus. Instead, he told everyone about the good news of Jesus. Saul, whose heart had been changed by Jesus, was better known after that as Paul. So here we have them. He's on the road and he fell down. And then when that bright light was there and then he couldn't see and the men who were with him helped him to get to Damascus. And then Ananias came and touched his eyes and told him that he could see again. The scales fell off. And then Ananias baptized him. This says in the story, Saul couldn't see. So I wonder what it would be like if you closed your eyes and you tried to walk around your house carefully. What, what is it like to not be able to see? Saul stopped being mean to the people who believed in Jesus after Jesus spoke to him. So how does knowing Jesus help you to be kinder and more helpful to other people? Hmm. We go through lots of changes in our lives. Sometimes we move up a grade and so we change classrooms or change schools. Um, some of us might move houses or move towns. And so right now is a big change in our life too. We're all having to stay home. And we know that Jesus is with us and that Paul changed and that Jesus was with him and helped him. And so we can know that after Jesus spoke with him and after the community helped him, because Ananias was a part of the community of believers and he helped Paul to be able to see. And then Paul started telling everyone about Jesus and about the good news and sharing God's love and starting churches and he did amazing things. And so we can know that we too can do amazing things if we share God's love in this world too and know that Jesus is with us too. So we are going to do our sign language now. And we have been working on the same verse for several weeks now. Since this whole time that we've been having story time, we've done the same verse. So let's do that verse together, but we're going to learn a new one after that. So remember we have Jesus said, I will be with you always. Awesome. So today our scripture that we're going to be doing is also from Acts, which we just read about Paul and Acts. And this is from Acts 4.20. And it says, As for us, we can't stop speaking about what we have seen and heard. So that's a long verse, but we won't do every single word. So it says, I want you to take your pointer finger 
and you can point it at your right shoulder and then you're gonna make a circle over to this shoulder. So this is a sign for we. And sometimes you do it with a W, so you could say we. We're just gonna do from here, shoulder to shoulder, we. And then you're gonna take a fist with your thumb up and put it on your chin and you're gonna push it away and then shake your head. We can't, okay, can't. So we can't. And then to do stop, you take your left hand and put it out flat. And then you're gonna have your other hand kind of like this and you're gonna stop it right on top of that hand. So stop. We can't stop. And then speaking, we've done this before when Jesus said, but we're gonna have our hand and just say speaking. And you can, as you're gonna keep saying lots of words, right? Because when we said Jesus said, we just said, he said one thing. But speaking about what we, so there's that sign, we already knew that one, so we. And then to do have seen, you're gonna take your two fingers, so make a two, and then put them up by your eyes and just kind of come out like this. I've seen, and then to have, say we heard, you put your hands up by your ears, to, so heard. So seen and heard. So let's try it slowly together. As for us, we can't stop speaking about what we have seen and heard. Great job, everyone. It's a new verse, and so we'll keep practicing it and we'll get better and better and learn it. You can watch it again later and reverse it if you wanna do some more practice. So now we are going to sing a song. And this is another one of my favorite camp, church camp songs. And we also sing this with our girls and they love to sing this song with us um, for bedtimes and um, anytime we sing it. So this is called, I Could Sing of Your Love Forever. And usually um, we have some music. I don't have any music with me today. So we're just gonna sing it together. Um, so you can join along if you know it. The chorus um, repeats the same line every time. So you can sing that, catch on with that one too. <clears throat> Over the mountains and the sea, your river runs with love for me. And I will open up my heart and let the healer set me free. I'm happy to be in the truth, and I will daily lift my hands. For I will always sing of when your love came down. I could sing of your love forever. 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 Over the mountains and the sea, your river runs with love for me. And I will open up my heart and let the healer set me free. I'm happy to be in the truth, and I will daily lift my hands. For I will always sing of when your love came down. I could sing of your love forever. 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 Great job. Thank you for singing that with me. And it reminds us that we can sing of God's love forever. And just like our verse said, we can't stop talking about the things that we have seen and heard of God's love for us and God's love for everyone. And that's what Paul did too. He went out and shared God's love with everyone. So we can remember to share God's love always. We're going to have a prayer to close us and then we'll have our blessing and we'll say goodbye and invite you to join us again on Thursday for another story time and check out our YouTube channel on our Facebook page for all of our videos that we share. Our worship services are there and our special music um, that we've been sharing as well and some meditations and um, lots of wonderful things. So we want to enjoy, invite you to enjoy those and be a part of those as well. So let us pray. 
God, we could sing of your love forever, and we are so thankful for your love and the ways that you are carrying us through this time. And we thank you for the way that community um, and our neighbors and the way that we can be together, the way that they're lifting us up and we're lifting others up. God, be with us always and help us to share your love and to share kindness. Amen. Let's have our blessing. So put your hand on top of your head and repeat after me. May there be peace in my thoughts. May there be peace in my words. May there be peace in my heart. Amen. Thank you. God bless you and have a wonderful week.